morning. Um, today we have what's called herd health or pregnancy checking cows. And um, this is something we do every five to six weeks to make sure we're getting our cows in calf. And if they're having problems getting calf, what we can do about it. Um, so I go to my computer and I print off what's called a vet list. And it lists all the cows that are 30 days and more bred. So anything that's been bred more than 30 days ago. And the vet can tell at 30 days if they're in calf or not. Um, <clears throat> so she's going to be coming here in a little while. And um, so before she comes, I like to take my list. And I'll show you my list. And I put the cows in order in the barn so that we don't waste time looking. And so the first two we're going to check is... Uh, Nibble and Fiesta, and um, so I just write it down order that they're in. And I'm going to continue through the barn doing that, and then when she comes I'll be all ready to go. So while I'm waiting for the vet, I thought I'd give you a look at the calves out in the hutches. This here's a bull calf that will be going out next week. He's doing really well. We've had them longer this time because of the holidays over in Katie's sale over the winter goes to once a month sales. So we'll, we'll be holding on calves longer. Here's our little guy, Gift. He's doing really good too. How you doing, Gift? Yeah, you're a pretty boy. Yeah. And some more heifer calves we've got here. Be nice if we could get some colder weather, dry everything up. I don't mind a little bit of snow. Empty hutch. There's another one in here. Hello, sweetie. Another heifer calf. And there's another one. Hi, baby. Yeah. You want to see the camera? Yeah. <laughs> You're a cutie. Yeah, so they're doing well out here. They like to play in the snow and run around in it. And it kind of cleans everything up. It's been a really unusual winter. It's, uh, we usually have like three feet of snow by now or long before now, before Christmas already. And colder, colder weather than this. But maybe if we could get some minus 10 weather, it would clear up a lot of the flu bugs that are going around. It's the people and colds and stuff. The calves have been doing actually quite well out here. Um, so that's been good. Yeah. Pretty boy, aren't you? You have kind of like gray eyes or something. <laughs> you want to see the camera? Yeah. Being friendly. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hopefully the vet gets here soon. Yeah, I know. Um, any to do today? I have uh, 10 in total, eight preg checks and two that are um, not showing heats yet. So, yeah. And how are uh, is the new silo going now? No, they came and hooked, they've done a lot on the hydro, Yeah. but they still have to put the wires through the ground and put a new wire up from that post pole to that pole and hook up the panel, you know, all that. Okay. So they got the in-ground stuff done so that we can, uh, yeah, they picked a couple days there where it was a little bit more frost in the ground so they didn't have to make as much mud and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but That'd be nice. They're here Saturday and then they haven't been back. So we're like, Ooh. but my son said it's okay because he has it timed out that the hay a week from now is changing. So that would work better with starting the silage anyway. So okay. yeah, so sometimes these things work out the way they do for a reason, right? right. Yeah. We'll have lots of silage this year anyway. Mm -hmm. I think it's working. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start with nibble. Mm -hmm. 
she is 68 days. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Nice. Good way to start. Yeah. Store here. This is Fiesta and she is 60 days. I guess we actually kind of could have had you sooner about the holidays and everything. It I know. Mm -hmm. December just whizzes by, doesn't it? Yeah. Were these natural peats or? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if we did any off sinks last time. Uh, I think we did one, but it wasn't okay. these two. Yeah. She's open. Okay. She many days in milk? Uh, 300? No, sorry, 217. Okay, I wonder if she's like coming into it here. Okay. But if you don't see anything like over the weekend, I would just like next week start her on the dog thing. Okay. Does that sound fair? Sounds good, yeah. And she is 65 days. Okay. Oh, there's a cat there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so there is a, actually there is a cat here too. But. Really? Because I wrote down pregnant, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cat is amazing. I was just looking over there. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. yeah. was that one more? Yeah. Um, just yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. How have your cats been doing in the hot Yeah. Not bad considering how wet it is. Like, I know, it's been really Yeah. It's been, it's been really up and down, like even in touches. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a bit of a struggle. Yeah. 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 Well, the weather doesn't help, right? No. Yeah. So, Duck is the next one. Yeah. Good name. Good name, yeah. And uh, she's 83 days. Yep, she's pregnant too. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So she we bought it, it as a cap. Yeah. Yeah. So she's 60 days. Nice little pepper. Yeah, she is. Yeah. This one pack. Oh, I think she's about uh, where that string's hanging down. We hang the milker Is lower it? on her, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, who does most of the milking then? Well, Ron and, and um, Joe William do it every morning. They each get one morning off a week. Oh, okay. And then. Um, my youngest son is working somewhere else right now, but he yeah. helps on weekends yeah. to give them their mornings off. Yeah. Melinda comes a couple mornings a week. I come out mostly in the evenings and at the end of milking in the mornings. Okay, they help finish up. Yeah. yeah. I got more book work to do than I ever oh, did before. Oh, I'm sure. And then I'm helping look after my parents a couple okay. days a week and that kind of stuff. So it just... Oh, yeah. So where are they? Your parents? My parents are still at home. She's good. She's pregnant? Yep. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, so these two together here. So the one I tied up tight because she's one that will just randomly, the first one there. This one? Yeah. No, wine. Oh, okay. Yeah. She um, is a little bit crazy, so she'll just run through. Oh, nice. Yeah. So she's 100. Oh, she's also open. Sorry. She's 120 days in milk. Is this the right cow? Because this one's pregnant. What? Wine. Okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> Must have missed putting a pregnant uh, breeding in. Ooh. So you were thinking she was never bred? Yeah. Someone bred her. Because, <laughs> like, they, it'll be written down, though, right? Like, yeah. It'll be on the breeding, on the breeding paper. paper. Yeah, yeah, like two months. Okay. Yeah, I would guess two months right on. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. You got a bonus. I got a bonus. <laughs> All right, and this one here. Yeah, she's right around the other one. They've been. So I wonder if there was a big day and yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then this one. Is that is like so? You do you enter them off on dairy cow? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Debutante. She's sixty six days. Yeah, she's good. Wow. So out of eight, we, we're checking eight pregnant cows. We got eight because we got an extra one. <laughs> exactly, <yeah. laughs> but we only had one yeah. open out of the eight that, that I originally started with. Yeah, so yeah. that's awesome. And that was good. That's like the best yeah, that is bird really health good. I think we've ever had. <laughs> I love the boys. Yeah. Exactly okay. So we had a really good herd health. Um, seven of the eight cows that we were hoping were pregnant were pregnant, so one open one. And um, we're going to um, bring her in heat for next week to breed her again. And um, usually you hope for 50%. So this is like one of the best herd healths we've ever had. And um, so pretty thankful for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching.